Hey, I'm Shane Long with Shane Long Photography, and this is a three minute review of the Canon EOS R. I've been using this camera alongside my 5D Mark IV for the last year and a half or so, and today I want to tell you a few of my favorite things. The first thing I love about this camera is the electronic viewfinder. It's not crazy high resolution, but it's high enough that it's not distracting. Being able to see live if my exposure is too bright or too dark, or my white balance is wrong, it allows me to correct those things in camera and saves me a lot of time in post. The second thing I love about this camera is the touch and drag focus. With my eye up to the EVF, I keep my thumb on the LCD screen. I can very quickly move the autofocus point all over the screen. For me, this is much quicker than using the joystick on my 5D Mark IV, and it allows me the freedom to go nearly all the way up to the edge of the frame. So now I'm recording my camera with an EOS R, recording myself to show you how much I love the face and eye detection of this camera. It makes taking portraits so much more easy than traditional DSLRs where you have to move the autofocus points around. I absolutely love the size and weight of this camera. It's just a little smaller than my 5D Mark IV. It cups perfectly in my hand and doesn't wear my wrist out to use at a wedding all day long. The last thing I want to mention is the tilt-out LCD screen. It allows me to take high angle and low angle photos as well as record myself for YouTube videos. One tip is I recommend turning off your automatic image review and shooting in servo mode. When you do that, it gets rid of the blackout between photos. Here's the typical startup time. But note that if you switch from an EF to an RF, it can take this long. The only thing holding me back from using it exclusively at weddings is the single card slot. I want to make sure that my couples have a double backup of their memories as soon as I click the shutter button. This is the perfect camera for engagement photos, family photos, senior portraits, anytime where you don't necessarily need two card slots. Look in the description for a link to the blog post where I share more of the beautiful images I've made with this camera. And please hit those like and subscribe buttons. We've got a lot more fun stuff coming for you. We'll see you next time.